Sergeant Beast Larson. Talk about motivation. I'm going to dedicate this video to my partner at work, Will. His motivation and support. Talking to me this week about some things and some changes. Thanks, brother. Also, one of the thoughts and prayers and condolences to the families involved in school shootings this year. Another one in Maryland just two days ago where the school resource officer intervened and was able to eliminate the threat, but two students were, were shot and killed. So prayers out to those families. To the rest of us, rest in law enforcement, we're not responding quick enough. We're not prepared quick enough. We have a PT test coming in three days. Our tactical squad here in special operations. We know every year it's going to be in the spring. And we've known it's coming. We've known it's coming. We were told two weeks ago we've been talking about it. But yet people say, I'm not going to pass. I'm not going to pass. And they want to talk for 30 minutes about why they can't pass. And they've spent not two minutes trying to do anything to improve. To pass the PT test, here's the secret. You gotta train all year long. You gotta always train. You gotta always be prepared. Three days out, I'm lifting big. I'm gonna lift big tomorrow again. I'll rest on Monday. I'll do this Tuesday, do my test. You can't pass the PT test if you work out one day a year. You also can't be prepared when when, for instance, inmates wanna punch you in the head and you need to deal with that when they try and kick you, when they're doing violent, aggressive actions towards you, when they're resisting arrest to law enforcement, if you're not training all year round, you're way behind the curve. You're going to get hurt, you're going to get killed. If you're shopping at the store, somebody tries to, to attack you, to carjack you, you're not prepared, not mentally or physically or emotionally prepared, because you're sitting there playing the Xbox and the PlayStation all day long. Put your game down, get up off your lazy butt, and get out and do something. You need one dumbbell, something around your house weighs 20, 30 pounds. Start picking that thing up, follow some of these videos, and do what I'm doing with very little weight. It's time to take charge of your life, take charge of your health. You want to get somewhere you want to live, get done. Pro athletes, very few of them run or ride a bike to the gym to work out. And those that do, congratulations, you figured it out. They have the motivation to self-drive. They know exactly what it takes and how to get there. They know everything about their diet, their nutrition, their exercise. They've put it together. But for the rest of us, are you going to jump in a $300 car, go to the gym, and all of a sudden become a beast when you're riding in a car that can barely get there? Is that motivating? No. You want to start, you want to change your motivation to work out? You need a good spark? Here's a secret. Here's, here's a tip that I've learned over the years. You want a great workout and you say, I'm going to start today. Today is the beginning of my new life. You know what you do? You leave early to go to the gym. And you go buy a car dealer. And you go in and get in something, like a big supercharged Dodge Charger or a big Mustang GT or something. You need something with some power under the hood. A car that has spirit, that has drive. So when you get down there and you start accelerating, you hit that gas a little bit, you're going to feel that rumble. You're going to feel that shake. Remember your old wrestling days, Hulk Hogan, every time he talked, he shook. That was his intensity. He was motivated. Sweat come off his forehead, had his head all wrapped up. Intense. Intense. You want to go to the gym, have a workout, you want to have a new life? You need to accept what the word intense means. Explosion. Extreme. Dynamic and powerful. So you get in that car, you take a test drive. I'm sorry car dealers, I have to let this secret out. Take a test drive of something that's got some power to it. Under the hood of a good Mustang GT, the heart is that motor. And when it's roaring and rumbling and purring like a kitten at the same time, and you know you can step on that gas, and you're 70, 80 miles an hour just like that, that's that power you need when you go to the gym to drive yourself beyond being the little nerd in a ponytail that lifts 50 pounds on a bench press. The bar plus 5 pounds on each side. That's embarrassing. This is about motivation. This is to get real here. This is to get real. You begin and do this stuff at home. But when it's time to flip that switch and go out, be in public and be real, protect your wives, your husbands, your kids, your parents, nieces, nephews, all that. When you come to protect them, don't be the guy in a ponytail benching 55 pounds. You need to be the guy that's got a powerful motor in here. The heart that drives the spirit and the mind. That's the one that survives. 
That's the one that overcomes. That's the one that conquers. We loved it when, when YouTube came out in law enforcement because we began watching the inmates training and working out inside prison on YouTube. We began to see what they were doing, so we counteracted that in law enforcement. And we knew how to train and be one step better. I've talked about this over and over. And it's important that I do because people forget or people get complacent. There's no complacency in my world. Almost 51 years old, I train, I work out, I'm intense. People are like me, people are more intense, people are close, some are, there's no intense, it's a small little I, there's two of them and it follows a W, it's called we, the W-I-I. -I. I like playing that occasionally with kids, but your life can't be absorbed around video games. It can't be absorbed around Texas Hold'em playing poker at a table. Your belly's going to grow. You're going to intensely grow. Your face, your neck's going to sag and drop. You're going to look like you're 50 years old when you're 30, 35. Put that stuff aside. You want to do all that, that's fine. But you should have spent at least 30 minutes in the morning getting up, stretching, and working out, exercising, something, before you go sit on your butt all day. You've got to do it. School shootings are getting out of control. The bomber down in Texas, 19 days of terror in the city. Bombs here, bombs there, two people dead. He finally killed himself. Are we ready for that? I am. I am. I got a good Glock. I got some good guns. I got some intensity. I got some power. I'm ready to go. The rest of you needs to be ready to go. I'm protecting my family. I'm protecting who's close to me. I'm protecting my co-workers, the staff, the people when I'm at work. It's my job. Protector. Are you ready to do that? Instead of doing 20 push-ups today and 20 push-ups tomorrow trying to, to make my goal on Tuesday, I'm just going to lift. I'm going to lift hard. No matter how much energy I have or don't have come Tuesday, I know I can easily pass what's required of me. So we're just going to push this up a little bit. By the way, that's not my first set. That's my fifth set. Five sets. 225, 15 reps on the incline. I weighed myself 205 this morning. So I'm lifting more than my body weight. You think I'm worried about going to do 38 push-ups? 38, 40 sit-ups? No, I'm training hard. I'm training every day. I'm training to live. Put some weight on here. Going to do a squat. Are you doing it? Do you know how to flip your switch? Watch this video. I'm gonna do a box squat, not a full beat squat. Do you know how to bring intensity? Watch this video. Watch my motivation number one. What's in the trunk of my car? Watch motivation number two and three. Watch them. They're there for a reason. I figured it out. I know what it takes. Get these knees up nice and tight. I've done this my whole life. I've been on two SWAT teams. Young. Got on first try. Beat out some senior old guys. Because I was in better shape. Had more intensity. More preparation. More desire. The heart. Like a race car.
She said, I don't like to lose. I don't give in. I'm willing to go the extra, extra mile. So we're going to roll out here one, one rep. When this video is done, you're flipped. Your switch should have been flipped just like that. You should be ready to go. You should be feeling the way I feel right now. Ready to go. Explosive, on fire. That's what you need to be feeling. I'm not doing a spotter today. That was 385. Think I'm scared about a PT test? Think I'm worried about a PT test? Nope. So I'm gonna flip that switch, bring that intensity, show people what it's about. Instead of standing on the sidelines, 20 push ups. I see young guys in prison. They come and do 20 push ups. <laughs> Suck it up. 20 push ups and you're 20 years old, that's a joke. 20 years old, you've been in high school two years and that's all you can do. Time to man up. Time to get with it. 20 push ups and sit ups, you ain't protecting anybody. You might protect that video game. You might protect that plate at the buffet. I apologize if I hurt people's feelings. But it's time to get real. This is the year. This is the time. This is the day. This is the day. March 24th, 2018. It's the day. Turn your life around. Let's get it going. Thanks for joining. I'm not tired. I still got plenty more to go. I just need to stop talking right now. I'm getting back to get with it. So I'll see you soon. Get started today, right now.